Hey everybody, it's Mr. Night Spider here. You're watching the Night Spider Collector. And today we're doing another action figure toy review. Now, I usually don't collect Pokemon, or I'm not one to collect these type of types of figures. But, we're talking about Mewtwo here. This is freaking Mewtwo. So I definitely, when I came across this, I couldn't pass this opportunity up. Don't see him at Toys R Us, don't see him at Target, don't see him at Walmart. So, um, yeah. Let's go over the packaging and see what we got here. So looking at the top, I believe the toy manufacturer is, I don't think it's Tommy, it's Tomai? Tomai or Tommy? I don't know, this is all new to me. Uh, then you have Mewtwo, two different spellings of that there. And then on the front you have Pokemon, you have Pikachu jumping there. And here it says, multiple points of articulation for battle play. Nothing really on the side, I guess you can see a better look at him in there. And same thing. And on the back, I've actually seen these figures in the... I, I got this guy at Best Buy. And all these figures are in Best Buy too. You got uh, Green Ninja, Machamp, Ash, and Pikachu. And then it says 14 points of articulation. Mewtwo unleashes its full power into battle. So yeah, Mewtwo's badass. So like I said, I couldn't pass this guy up. So without further ado, let's crack this guy open and see if it is awesome. Okay, and here we have Mewtwo out of the packaging. I gotta say, this is such a breath of fresh air. What a surprise. Um, before we get into the details, uh, let's look at the articulation because um, this is a good figure. Uh, this thing retails for about $12.99 and the, the, the quality and the build and the articulation uh, rivals, if not exceeds, most of the stuff that we get from uh, Hasbro as of recent. So, um, yeah, let's check it out. This is just some really cool cool stuff going on here. I mean, just look at that pose. Just a little bit of a movement here. Everything just has so much uh, personality to it. So, for starters, if you remember, he has like this weird part attached to him. This part comes out. That That's supposed to go in there, but that's comes out so which is smart so if something happens or were to you know you don't get no strain or breakage on it for the most part granted i'm sure if you really tried or wanted to you could damage it um the head is on a ball joint if you all can see there there's the ball joint there so you get a fairly you know 360 degree rotation equal you can't really well you can look you can't look up too much you get a little bit of up and then a little bit of down, but the 360 degree rotation is there. You have like, a, I won't say abdomen crunch, but it's a upper chest type of swivel here, looking like in there, if you could see it inside. So you get 360 degree rotation on that. And then, so if you want to look up, that you just got to move everything and it kind of kind of helps, which is, I think it's awesome. Uh, 360 degrees rotation on the arm. You have the single jointed elbow, but they give you a swivel up top, which is kind of like what you would get like a bicep swivel type of thing, but they just kind of put it on the base here because of the design of the character. Uh, the only thing I do wish is it had some kind of, of wrist articulation because that would totally take it to the next level, but alas, it does not. So that is cool. You have some, uh, looks like some ball joints for the hips. And you can see the range of motion there. You can't really get out, but you can go all the way around. 360 degrees. You have an ankle hinge there. No rocker or anything, but the way he's designed, I think it's fine. Because the bulk of his own body is going to keep him afloat. So it's not going to fall down or anything. And you could pretty much get the poses you want out of him with the ankle and the hip articulation. As long as you use the bulk of his body, kind of like a stand, which I think this whole design is smart. So that is that. Oh, no, it is not that. This part's really cool. There's like, well, I think, four points of articulation in the tail. So if you really have... A lot of options here, which is awesome. I mean, I might keep just a simple vanilla pose like that, but 
you have a lot of options. You got one, two, three, four, four points of articulation for the tail. So you can definitely get that the way you like it, like to further help him stand if you wanted. So let's get this guy back, put everything back into a decent shape and form. Da, 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 da. And I know there's like a yellow mark on my hand. My son hit me with a highlighter and it won't come off. <laughs> anyway, so here is Mewtwo. Um, you, I would say the simplicity behind it is what works best for it. Because if they try to get too crazy with the paint, it kind of takes away from the animation concept, which is, you know, Pokemon. Whether it's the game or the show or the movie, whatever it is you watch. Um, you got some very light purple here. And then you have like a darker purple here from from the lower portion to his tail. It looks like it looks like this portion was painted, and then this portion is actually all purple to match that kind of snapped in. At least that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, that's some paint. Um, the leg itself also looks. It looks like there's some paint work on here. I could be wrong, but if you look at how it is and then some of the the blemishing we got on the inner thigh and stuff, you, it looks like a, a complete paint. Like this was painted. Um, even the f bottom feet are painted. But once again, simplicity being the what's making it work so well. This portion's not painted at all. Uh, the upper chest area is not painted. The arms aren't painted. Um, but the colors match well together. Now, if you look at the head, once again, it's a very simple looking character. Just a simple little meh for his mouth right there and two little slots for his nose. But the eyes are painted on there. See that? Zoom in. There you go. That's all painted. Phenomenal job, actually. A lot of companies, they usually just like half-ass it. They go, doo -doo, doo -doo, and sometimes you get characters looking cross-eyed and what have you. But this looks excellent. Um, the only thing here is this portion, since this portion is not painted, and the whole, if you look, the whole head is painted this light pinkish purple. It kind of, when you plug it in, it kind of breaks up the, the fluidity of it all. But overall... I'm not mad. This this is a really sick picture. I mean, sick picture. That's me planning ahead. I'm like, I'm going to take some pictures with this. But this is a really sick uh, figure. I'm definitely looking forward to doing some uh, photography with this. So if you're into Pokemon, um, if you come across this, it seems to be a very uncommon thing. I came, I looked that up on Amazon. They're selling it for like 25 bucks, which is double the price you're paying on retail. Um, but if you happen to come across a Mewtwo or any some of these uh, any of these articulated Pokemon figures, I, I would say go for it. Um, if you could get it retail for thirteen bucks, that is the work and the paint and articulation. You're getting like way more than you would get from like a Mattel or Hasbro. So go for it. Good job, Tommy or Tomai, whatever the hell you call yourselves. And yeah, I mean, even if you appreciate good figures and just powerful characters, I mean, go for it. If you appreciate anime, go for it. So this is the Night Spider Collector giving the Tomai um, action figure Pokemon toy. Thumbs up. So once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Um, if you like the video, like it. Um, if you have any comments, comments or feedback, leave a comment. And as always, subscribe if you enjoy my content. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Peace. Peace. Oh, well, kind of. Let's go that. Peace. Take care, guys.